In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert WordPress admin CSS into any page in the WordPress admin using your functions file. This is great if you have just a handful of CSS adjustments you want to make. In a different video, I'm going to show you how to include a full style sheet into your WordPress admin header, which is great if you want to make major changes and have a whole lot of styles that you want to insert. Either way, this is the CSS insert, just a couple styles we're going to insert into the header, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at WordPress for yourself and your clients, click on subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a half off deal with InMotion Hosting. You get half off of any one of their plans that you want. It can be for yourself or for your clients or whatever, you get half off. Link in the description down below for more details. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture. So adding CSS to the admin area is something you do for yourself or for a client. If you had a client that you're making websites for, or multiple clients, you wanted to brand their admin area with your company's branding or their company's branding as a value add service, then this is something that will allow you to do that. The code we need to add CSS to the admin area is on the blog. There's a link in the description down below this post. And we're gonna use this first section here this may be moved around by the time you see this, I don't know, but it looks like this. So I'm gonna copy all this code. I'm going to open my cPanel and then the file manager. You can do this via FTP if you're more comfortable in FTP. Open public underscore HTML, find your website if you have multiple here. If you just have one site, go to wp-content and then themes, find the theme you're working in. Hopefully it's a child theme. Working in the parent theme is very dangerous. I recommend you make a child theme. If you don't know how, or you don't even know what they are, click on the card just to period of a child theme playlist where you can learn all about them. They're great stuff. They make your WordPress life a lot easier, especially if something goes wrong. They can be a lifesaver. So I'm gonna open my child theme folder and I already have a functions file in here. You may not. You can see in the child theme playlist how to add functions files and copy files from your parent theme into the child theme if you need to do that. I have a functions file here already. A great thing to do is to back up the functions file even in a child theme. So I just highlight it, click on copy. I call the new file functions.php-bkp. Now if something goes wrong, I have a backup. I can delete the functions file that caused an error or made the site go down. Then I can just rename this backup to remove the bk-bkp and then the site's back online. Because the functions file is quite dangerous to work in wrong character anywhere can bring down the site. So you gotta be very careful. So I'm gonna open the functions file now, highlight it, click on edit. I'm gonna add a bunch of blank space at the bottom, which is not a good idea for you to do. So it's a good idea for me because then I can show you better what I'm doing. But adding a bunch of blank space at the bottom of your functions file sometimes can cause a 500 error. So when you're editing in your functions file, make sure you remove all the blank spaces below your code. I'm just going to quickly show you what I mean by example. I'm going to paste in this code. I have all these carriage returns down below. I want to make sure all of those are gone when you publish your file. So there's no blank space below your code at all. But for me to show this better, I'm going to move this up by adding blank space. So we're creating a function called my admin styles, and we're going to echo right into the header of all the admin pages, this style right here. You can add as many styles as you want. If you know CSS, this is gonna be super easy for you. You can come in here, you can add body, let's say background color green. Now the body's gonna be set to a background color of green and H1 set to these characteristics. And this is gonna be added to the admin head. So it only appears on admin pages and it adds your function to the, to the admin head. And that's all there is. Just click on save changes, go back over to your admin, everything went well, the site won't go down and we're gonna see some changes in here. And we do, the body area's background is now green, the H1 is now red, and that's really hard to look at, it's hurting my eyes, so I'm gonna go back over here, I'm gonna remove this background color, save that, refresh the page again, and this is how you can style your admin theme using a very basic function. And again, this puts the styles directly into the header of your admin pages. 
This works well if you have a handful of styles you want to add or a small amount of things you want to adjust. If you want to add lots of styles to your admin, I recommend you put them in a style sheet. I'm going to show you how to add that style sheet to the header of your admin in a separate video that you can open or view if you click on the card that just popped up. Check out that video if you want to add a style sheet to your admin. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.